Hi everyone, my name is Tricky Wan, and I'm very happy to present our work on multi-channel input pixel-wise regression 3D unit for medical image estimation with three applications in brand MRI. UNAT or 3D UNAT is a deep learning architecture designed for semantic segmentation of medical image. UNAT is a commonly used benchmark in medical image segmentation. Based on this fact, we propose the use of the multi-channel input pixel-wise regression 3D UNAT for estimation of medical image. So instead of outputting the class of this voxel, we are outputting a separate regression value for each voxel in this image. We use a 5-level 3D UNAT architecture modified from VNAT. We perform data normalization by using Z-score intensity normalization. We can see later on the visualization part, the background are very different from each image. This is because we perform the Z-score intensity normalization on each subject, which making the background value is mapping to different value. And we're using the absolute average error as a loss function. We also try with mean square error, but the absolute average error give us better result on most measurement we're using. And for task which we want to use more than one input, we are using multi-channel input, which means we concatenate those images into the channel dimension. In our paper, we also compare the multi-channel input to single-channel input. So in order to show how robust our model is, we have applied our model to three different applications. The first is the longitudinal image estimation. We are using the Alzheimer's disease neural image intuitive dataset. We are using 80 subjects with four longitudinal MRI scans at screaming, month 6, month 12, and month 24. We are using three different inputs. The first is screaming, month 6, and month 12 to predict the target image, month 24. The second is using month 6 and month 12 to predict the target image, month 24. The third is using month 12 to predict the target image. The diffusion image reconstruction is our second application. We are using the Human Connectome Project dataset. The 4D diffusion exam are processed into fractional anastropy and apparent diffusion coefficient volume for the target image. The second application is the modality estimation. We are using the breadth dataset from 18 to 20. We are using T1, T2, and T2 flare image. In order to protect the T2 image, we are using T1 and T2 flare. And we are also using T1 to protect the T2 image. In order to protect the T1 image, we are using T2 and T2 flare, or only T2. This is the qualitative and quantitative result of our model. From this result, we can see the improvements in the measurements from the multi-channel input related to the single-channel input. For example, in the application 1, we can see that when we are using more than one image as input image to predict the target one, we have better results than when we only have one image as input image. Conclusion. We implement a pixel-wise regression 3D unit for medical image estimation. The pixel-wise regression 3D unit is robust and flexible architecture to be able to handle this three application with minimum reconfiguration. Actually, we only need to change the input number of the channel and the bench size for every approach, and this model could apply to this three application. Thank you.